This is Minister Rivers, and today I want to speak to everyone about trusting God, trusting in the Lord, trusting in Jesus. Well, let's look at the word trust to begin with. What does the word trust mean in Hebrew? It means to rely, to lead, and to rest on. And I know sometimes it feels hard to trust in God because of the situations that are around you or because of the people that have failed you in your life. But I'm here to tell you to trust in God, not because of who you are, but because of who God is. In the Bible, there's so many people that wasn't able to see what was in front of them, that didn't, wasn't able to see what lies tomorrow, but they trusted in God. Look at Moses. He had to lead God's people, and then he still went to God, and he told him, I am a man with small words. And God told him, we'll bring your brother with you. And then God told him to have a staff, a rat. And then look at Abraham. God took Abraham from one land into the next land and told him, go, and I will tell you where to go. He didn't know where he was going, but he trusted in God. Look at Samson. He didn't believe in God at the beginning of his life. But then at the very end of his life, he said, God, give me strength. When he grew his hair back in his eyes, he asked God to give him strength. He trusted in God and he killed more people at the end of his life than he ever did to begin with. And then last but not least, the three Hebrew boys. They trusted in God. Even when the enemy was right there in front of them, they still didn't bow. And they said, even if God does not come, we still won't bow and we still will put our trust in God. Well, what am I telling you? Trust in God because in the book of, in the book of Psalms 125, it says, They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. And they shall not be removed. And they shall be established forever. Well, who are they? Those that believe in God. Those that believe in Jesus. Those that believe in the Lord. The believers. And I know, I know, myself personally, it's hard to trust in God. Because of everything that is around you. But I'm telling you to keep your faith in God and you will not be removed. Keep your trust in God and you shall not be, ro re be removed. You shall be rooted and grounded in the Lord. And it's crazy because it's like when you get ready to go to a job or start a new career, you don't know what lies ahead of you. But what do you do? You trust You trust that that job is going to get you somewhere. Well, trust in God even more. Trust in God and know that he will keep you through every situation. And when you begin to trust in God, he will give you peace. I know you're like, well, how can I have peace in the world of today? Well, God's not saying peace in the world. But peace inside of you. God will give you peace past all understanding. Peace that when people see you and they be like, wow, well, didn't this or that just happen to you? You're like, yeah, girl. Or yeah, man, but I'm not even worried about that. Well, why aren't you worried about it? Because your trust is in God. I promise you, if you trust in God, he shall never leave you nor forsake you. I'm telling you, you continue to trust in God. This is Minister Rivers. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And in every and all that you do, give God the glory, honor, and praise. To God be the glory.